this is the last day that Champ is going to get out here and and be able to graze, so they look very happy to do so actually today running all around, that's, that's good seeing what's best <sighs> silly goats so when we run them we always bring them a little treat so that they actually run out here and follow it works really well so they'll eat that down and then they'll start grazing or go back and forth and this cami here I told you guys always has quads or last year she had triplets she's a couple months pregnant she's not a real wide body doe naturally so well, bellied, white bellied anyway. But you can see her pooching. Look at that. So the rumen is on their left side. And the babies hang out on the right side. Lacey here is a very deep bodied doe. Super deep bodied. She hides her kids very well in there. Big Montana or Sky is a very chunky doe. She's got belly. Maddie here. She's just about a month pregnant. This will be her first kit, fourth kidding also. And she gave us a single. And then twins, and last year was a single buckling, gorgeous buck. Alright, so we got them out here browsing around, and they should have a good day today. So we had to get them out of their pen so that we could get it cleaned, because next weekend we're going to be separating them, so we're trying to get as many pens clean this weekend as possible, so that when we move them, they're all good and clean. They seem to be enjoying themselves. So this pen is getting clean today. Since we got them out grazing, it is a dirty one. And the biggest one. So the boys should have fun doing that. So we got this pen clean. And this pen clean. And they go right to mucking it up. It already looks messy. Mayo. Mayo. Lily. What are you doing, silly? Silly. And Everest. So while Derek was cleaning the pens, he just kind of let them out. And Everest decided he wanted to fight with Lucky on the outside of his fence. So he got a little bit bloody. But apparently he wants to show him who's boss. We'll see if that's the same scenario when we put them together. But there won't be any ladies with them, so it will go a lot smoother. But yeah, just another reason it's good to have a divider in between each pen. Because they do fight over these girls. See Lucky over there. Those two love each other. <laughs> Lucky.
Speaking of love, Anna does not love Lucky. Do you, Anna? See, even his presence, she's like back up. So those of you who are new um, followers or subscribers, um, Anna, uh, when we first bought her, she was supposedly bred. And turns out she wasn't, Elsa was. We bought Anna and Elsa together. And so we put her in um, with, with a buck because we could tell she went into heat and she didn't take again. So then we tried it again um, with Champ and Merle. Neither one of them got her bred. So I was just kind of thinking, well, she's a dud or something was going on, of course, and going through what the infertility issues could have been. And she was a little chunky. Um, cause she was a couple years old, and I'm a, I'm a big believer that you got to breed them before they're getting chunky. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually a lot better for them. It's a dairy goat. So, we put her in with Lucky last year, and when we bred everybody else, and finally she took. So I was, and that's how we got little Miss Abilene. But I was thinking she wasn't even going to get bred. So, the moral of this story... Merle and Champ are actually, they're, they're not real aggressive bucks, and Anna doesn't really care to be bred, which is kind of weird, because I think in a lot of cases it's instinctive, and we've, we've had goats and been breeding goats for a long time and never ran into an issue like that, but Anna just doesn't seem to really get into it. Um, so... She needs a buck like Lucky, who is not going to take that for an answer and, you know, she'll just lay there and not want him to get, not want to get up and everything and he, he will force her to get up and actually make sure that the, the deed gets done. So if you guys ever run into an issue like that, you know, it could possibly be that the doe just isn't into the buck or any buck for that matter and you might just need a more aggressive buck. So he's not aggressive like he's mean to them, but if a doe is in heat, he will not just let her lay around. He's going to make sure that he gets her bread. So that's what I mean by aggressive. He's a crazy boy. What's going on? One more week, Miss Lodi. What do you think, Emily? You think she's going to be able to get out of the fence over there when we put her back with the dose? Uh, maybe. I think she's too big. She hasn't gotten any bigger at all. That's yeah. not true. That's not true. She's big. Get away from these stinky boys. Well, they're not that stinky. No, they're not. They're pretty cute, aren't they? Yeah. I love that. Dexter. See, Lodi's like back up. It's so annoying. These bucks are stealing all the attention. <laughs> Ed, stop stealing Sarpon's grass. It's his animals. No. Have to share. That is Miss Abilene. What are you doing, sweetie? Chilling. She is such a sweetie. That is Anna and Lucky's baby. And you, Mayo. Look at May's out. Let's see, May. What's going on, May? I caught you. You're out. Yep. Make some grass. I think May will be happy to get her older goat friends back with her. She's in here with a bunch of youngins. She feels like that's just not right. There she goes again. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing, Miss Shilly? Hey, Don. 
Tanya usually gives us triplets. She has given us quads before. Hoping for triplets or quads out of her again. You're a pretty girl, Dawn. You want some grass? A little low on grass. Yeah, so she's pooching out a little too. But she's also a very deep bodied doe. She likes to hide them. Little Cassie, no sign yet. She's about six weeks bred. It's been six weeks with the bucks inside with the does? No, it's been. Next week will be two months that they've been in here. So, in about a month, when they're about three months pregnant, um, you can actually feel the baby start to move. And I'll show you guys, of course, how to do it and where to fill, which is on the right side. Um, but here soon that's just uh, it, it's it's just so really awesome when you feel the babies moving but that's how we do our hillbilly ultrasound so cost us nothing and it just confirms that there's babies in there for me plus it's like just the neatest thing in the world to feel them moving around so excited that will be very soon and they're all doing really really good one more week Feeding two goats wow. at once. Feeding three goats at once. Well, that grass must be the perfect bite for them, huh? Yeah. Loving it. Alright, so us girls are going to go run some errands and Cookie Kaylee, hopefully she's ready by now. You think she is? I don't know, girl. She takes a very long time to get ready. <laughs> hopefully she's ready because we got some errands to go run. I'm glad I get to go run errands and these boys are going to be cleaning out that goat pen, not me. So we have to go to the bank and get a form notarized so little Miss Kaylee can graduate early. Cool that? Cool that. Cool that. Literally the worst place to be. Pretty much in general, but right before the holidays, it's going to be a Walmart. Girls, ready for this madness? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get hit by a car. You need to stay off of your phone in the parking lot. Mom, stay. There's a car behind you. <laughs> Literally. This guy's little head. What's going on guys? Good goaties. Just got back. Come over here and see the progress that the boys have made. Looks nice and they're not over here. Ooh, they did good. Nice big clean pen for next week when those boys have to come back in here together. It is windy and chilly. I don't like it. Hopefully it's not 
ruining the camera. So, I'm going to come over here and see what these boys are up to. We had a lot of rain last week, guys. We got two inches, which for us, like I said, it never rains here, <laughs> except for when it does. But it's not very common, and typically we'll get about 12 to 14 inches a year. And last week we got two inches, and we're about to have another another storm coming and get some more rain um, over Thanksgiving. So. What are you boys up to? Huh? What you doing? Shoveling still. Still shoveling? Yes. Just turning up that dirt. Well, I keep finding more worms, more grubs, and they're cocooning into something. So, so I can I don't rightly know what to do. I could dig this dirt out and like lose it in the driveway or in an erosion hole or something, but if it's a flying bug, they're just gonna fly back to my garden. So I can put it in the compost and hope that it cooks everything, kills everything, but if it doesn't, it might end up in all my beds. So I figured we'd stir this up by hand and let the chickens go through it a couple more days and just hope that they get everything that they can. And then I probably will move it to the compost. Sounds like a plan. How's it going, chickies? Got one. See these brown cocoons? See those? Oh look yeah, that, yeah, look at that. One, two, three of them right there. Look, and here's a white one. See, it's it's starting to pupate. Or cocoon into something, whatever the right term is. So like I said, I'm gonna let them stir through this a couple of more times and get as much as they can because I don't know what that is. Yeah, look at that. We need those chickens to eat them all. Right, yes. So that's kind of my plan. If I can break this soil loose for them, hopefully they'll scratch through it and do a better, you know, a fine comb through it and, and get everything. Right now they're acting kind of skittish because we're here and we're moving them around and all that good stuff. But that's the plan. Look at that guinea. What is an ugly head he's got? Here's our rain gauge, guys. Couple inches. Sheesh. So, a lot of you knew we had planned on doing Thanksgiving out here. Um, and that plan changed. My mom got a new place, um, so we're all going to do it at her place. And we just really weren't ready. There's so much so much to do around here and we got so much going on right now and you know with working full time and everything else we just weren't ready so it was it was really a relief and my mom is also pretty happy to do it at her house too so we always shoot for next year but you know we we discussed maybe doing like a farm day anyway so we don't know who knows what next year will hold but as of this year we are not doing thanksgiving so right there's one Right there he is. Right there, right there. So I throw him in. They comb through it. 
It's our new pullet feeding method <laughs> and organic cabbage maggot control or whatever they are. We'll just keep moving it around like this for the next couple of days and hope that they get all of them and then they'll probably recompost this dirt because everybody loves shoveling, especially Darren. Yeah. Yeah. It's his favorite. It's what he likes to do on his weekends. Sure does. Well, they're getting it. They are, aren't they? Yes, they are. Happy chickies. Here's one, Ma. Oop, right oh. out of my hand. <laughs> oh, look, he sees that one. Maybe he didn't. The larva. Right there? Yeah. Now. Good deal. Alright, so it's a little chilly. I'm gonna go in the house, put some pajamas on, and make some garden salsa. So check it out, you guys. We have a ton of tomatoes that we have picked the last few days um, out of our garden. So we are near and towards Thanksgiving here and just very, very, very fortunate to be in Arizona where we can still be harvesting our, our fruits and our vegetables. So today I'm going to make some homemade salsa, take advantage of it while we still have it because no doubt it will be coming to an end for us with our tomato plants. But, um, you know, we still have cilantro and we still got peppers, I uh, still have some of the garlic that we uh, harvested this year, earlier this year as well. So again, I'm going to put some uh, garden salsa together.
Good? Yeah. Alright. Good deal. Homemade salsa. Mm. 